glorify God by bearing fruit. John 15 verse 8 My Father is glorified and honored by this, when you bear much fruit and prove yourselves to be my true disciples. The only one thing a branch can do is bear fruit. It may be frail in and of itself, but it is alive and well with the mind and can produce fruit. Abiding in Christ entails being in constant communication with Him in order for our lives to reflect His will. When our Father prunes us, removing the good in order for us to produce the best, we know we are abiding. We give God glory by bearing fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. Abiding depends on obeying, and obeying depends on loving. Love and joy go together and make it easy for us to obey His will. We should love Him, love His will, and love one another. And in abiding in Him, we bear the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. We enjoy the love of Christ and the love of the brethren, but we must also endure the hatred of the world for His name's sake. The more we are like Christ, the more the world system will oppose us. Depends on the Spirit's power, and you will be a fruitful, faithful Christian. Hudson Taylor quoted, Fruit bearing involves cross bearing. There are not two Christ, an easy going one for easy going Christian, and a suffering, toiling one for exceptional believers. There is only one Christ. Are you willing to abide in Him and thus to bear much fruit? Live for the glory of God alone. Bear fruit for His name.